out! Hmm. Excellent. It's of the utmost importance that the environment inside is completely sterile and germ-free. Hmm. Limburger and liverwurst. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. My favorite. Huh? Contamination threat elevated. Contamination threat elevated. Hey, big bro, what's the haps? Going to meet my rock wall climbing bros. Sounds rad. Think I could come along? I'm a really good climber. Sorry, kiddo. Outsiders have to be voted in, then rigorously tested for climbing ability. Sorry. Hey, sis, what's going on? Recycling club emergency. Turns out the cafeteria's chairs aren't made of 100% recycled material. Great, I'll help. Not a good idea. Because of your electricity wasting video game sessions, you're actually on my club's watch list, Tone. Markman! Sorry, T. Getting together with some prominent geniuses to reinvent the wheel. But I could bring refreshments. Uh, maybe next time. <sighs> Why don't I fit in anywhere? <sighs> Maybe if I get a new personality, people will want to hang out with me. One thing I can always count on is Roop wanting me. Hey, we're at the Dude Ranch. Are we getting a vacation? Yeah! It doesn't feel like a vacation. Jerry, what are you doing? Retiring. Jerry, you can't retire. Who'll take care of Whoop? Who'll send us on missions? Who'll bother us at the worst possible moment? That's been taken care of. I'll still be in charge with the help of a clone version of myself, albeit 30 years younger. Spies, allow me to introduce Jer 2.0. <laughs> Whoa, Jerry, he looks like you! Only he's a lot younger and better looking. Are you sure about this, Jer? Of course. It's a brilliant plan that will work perfectly. So, my spytastic friends, when would be a convenient time for you to be wooped? Uh, now I guess. Whoa! Why don't you find some good music, T? Okay, cool. Um. Oh, that's a little more like it. Come on, get into the groove, guys. Let's rumba. Ha! So what do you guys drop by for? Feel like chilling or something? Uh, you're the one who brought us here. Really? Wonder why I did that. Well, this is usually the part where Jerry sends us on some sort of mission. Oh, okay then. Well, let's see if I can find something fun and easy, eh? Hmm, too boring, too lame. Oh, too boring and lame. Ah, here's something. What is it? What is it? A villain called the Termite Nator is up to his old tricks downtown. You should have an easy time taking him down. <laughs> Uh, shouldn't you be responding to that alert? No, Biggie. The heat detectors are going off at the Whoop Gadget Lab. Probably nothing. There's some seriously sensitive equipment there. We'd better check it out. Yep, your call. Tony and I'll go. Okay, you guys go downtown. I'm going to wrap up this dance party. Uh, when you're done dancing, do you think we could have some gadgets? Sure. Take the Super Blaster Hydro Pistol. And the detonating pinata. Thanks, but... Do you have any other info on this bad guy for us? Oh, you'll figure it out. Gotta run. 
Big interview with Spy Gentleman magazine in a few minutes. Have fun! <laughs> Think of our new boss. Pretty cool, huh? His methods are different. Running a spy agency is serious business, but he sure makes things fun. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! What's going on down there? I think we found the termite nader. Tony, what are you doing? I'm doing what the new chair does. I think it makes me look cooler, don't you? Well, it definitely makes you seem weirder. Come on, Tone 2.0, let's figure out where the fire is. Maybe it's a false alarm. Ah! Ah! What was that? We were just inches from becoming human Swiss cheese. I'd say it's a gadget gone wild. We should be safe here, though. Ah! Ah! Bungie! We better take this guy out before he brings the entire building down! Ah! Did Jerry 2.0 forget to recharge our boots? I've got no power! Our chutes haven't even been reloaded! We need a plan and we need it in about 3.2 seconds! We need to catch some wind to make it to that awning! Oh. Ah. Wow! Just like we drew it up! This pest is getting under my skin! Let's see him chew on the detonating pinata! That's the gadget? We're trying to catch a villain, not win friends. I don't think we want his friendship. Come on! <laughs> this guy's a bottomless pit. He eats more than you do. So much for this being an easy mission. Do you think we gave him the slip? <laughs> Tie up his legs, Lee! Whew. Who made out worse, us or him? Hmm. If we can get behind this loser bot without being noticed, we can douse it with the Super Blaster Hydro Pistol. Your aim better be good, though, or else we're toast. I got a little something to cool your jets, hothead. That's the lamest gadget ever! Where'd Jer 2.0 get that? A toy store? You can ask him that if we actually survive. What do we do now? I have an idea. You get its attention. Do I even have a choice? This better work, or I'm gonna have a sizzling sister. Ah! Ah! This is it, the stage five sunburn. Ah! Thanks, I thought it was history for a second there. Hmm. Please stop acting like Jer 2.0. It's really distracting. Speaking of, you made it seem like this mission was going to be fun and easy. Hardly. Let's head back and check in with the new boss. No! I hope your mission was better than ours. Yeah, if you call being vaporized by a robot better. Our lame gadget almost got us fried. Same with us. Even our boots pooped out on us at a crucial moment. We're gonna have to help our new boss work the kinks out of his spy agency running technique. Ah, one of Jerry's old gadgets, the Wigloo Tech Igloo. They don't make them like this anymore. So where is our new boss anyway? So where is our new boss anyway? Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, four envelopes with our names on them. What do you think this is about? Spies, heard the missions didn't go so smoothly, but don't worry, we'll work things out as we go. Huh? Uh, are you at a party or something? The spy appreciation dinner. Gotta tell you, this lifestyle is pleasantly grueling. 
uh, not to interrupt your party, but you're getting a ton of alerts. No, Biggie, I'll get some other agents to deal with them. But I do have a very important mission for you guys. Learn to have more fun! Ha <laughs> ha! OK, gotta run. Go! They want me to give a speech! What was all that twitching about? I'm more concerned about all these alerts. Tony, you're on me like a cheap suit. Can I get some room? <laughs> Jerry's the one who chose his replacement. He must know what he's doing, right? Maybe. We better get to school. My retirement project shall be to break you and make you into my trusty steed, Thunder. I've trained countless agents. Surely I can train you. I can see this is going to take some time. <laughs> if we can figure out what's on this slide, maybe it'll tell us more about Jer's intentions. Yeah, I know. That's why I said the same thing five minutes ago? This is DNA. Mine, to be exact. Whoop keeps DNA samples of all their agents on file. But why would Jer 2.0 have our DNA on his desk? You took one of the envelopes? Mark, that's dishonest. Hmm. What did you find? Analysis of the acid revealed a DNA sample. Uh, excuse me? If you happen to see Tony, could you ask him to focus on the mission? Something's not right. The gadgets, the DNA, the alerts on the computer. I'll link to Jerry's computer to see what the latest is. Whoa, there's a riot going on at the Woop prison. Why isn't Jerry all over this? Jerry should know this is going on. <sighs> Agents, can't you see I'm in the middle of an important training exercise? Jerry, there are alerts going off worldwide, but your replacement's too busy partying to bother with them. I have the utmost confidence in Jer 2.0. After all, I created him myself. But what about all of the chaos going on? If it makes you feel any better, I'll whoop you over to the office and you can discuss it with him yourself. <laughs> Sign of the boss. Big surprise. Probably out dancing the rumba. Yuck! What's this gunk? One way to find out. It's gel used to create clones, like what Jerry used to create the new Jer. Speak of the clone, here he comes. With all that's going on, Lee and I should pay a visit to the clone lab. Keep Party Boy busy. We're on it, sis. Hey, Jer, how are things going? Just keeping busy with boss stuff. <clears throat> we dropped by to groove out to some of your funky jams. I'm glad to see you've improved your attitudes. It's not all gloom and despair being a spy. <gasps> so this is where Jerry whipped together the new and not so improved boss. Uh-oh, look at this. A hole in the germ-free environment. Yeah, so what's the big deal? My socks are full of holes. The clone being created could easily get contaminated. Maybe that's what happened to Jer 2.0. Oh, if that's the case, then those four half-baked clones in there might be contaminated too. What's going on here? These clones look like us. <gasps> the DNA samples. Mark just sent us a random alert. I wonder what he's trying to warn us about. stuff we've been meaning to do. Come on, Tony. Hmm. The good news is we can actually outrun ourselves. Hey, what's up? Why are you running? Look for yourself. Whoa, <gasps> they look like us. Only creepy. <sighs> Great. Now we have no choice but to throw down against ourselves. <sighs> Agents, huh? I see you've met yourselves. Ah! <laughs> Call off your clones and explain what you think you're doing, pal! 
now. OK, you guys are great spies, but you don't know how to have fun, so I'm replacing you with DNA replicants, and they know how to party. I knew something was off with this guy from the start. And don't think I don't know you tattle to Jerry about me. They did it, it wasn't me. <sighs> oh, in addition to being a lousy boss, you're also a pretty bad clone maker. Well, they're not finished. You interrupted the process, but they're done enough to do you in. Jerry, it's Mark. Whoop us right away. It's an emergency. Quick, get him! Yeah! Follow me! Well, howdy, partners. What seems to be the problem? For starters, the clone you made is insane. He created clones to get rid of us, then take our places. Oh, my. Are you sure about all this? Hmm. I like your new accent, Jer. Since you're doing the cowboy thing now, maybe I'll be like the old Jerry. Now do you believe us? Hey, they're using our tandem cycles. Correction, they were your cycles. They belong to the clones now, along with the rest of your spy lives. My, I'm terribly soiled. Please tell me you're not gonna keep acting like Jerry. Forget that! We need to stop these clones! Not to worry. I'm through being polite to our imposters. Great! Even our gadgets don't work against them. They're more indestructible than we are. If anyone is interested in catching a lift, follow me! I remembered to recharge our boots earlier. Let's get the jump on these guys. You know what they say, Jerry. Out with the old, in with the new. Time to put you out to pasture. Yeah, boy! Yeah. Yeah, I, I never took into account that my own clone might want to destroy me! Okay, tiny problem. There's no bridge here. Which is why we're gonna try and jump it. Are you crazy? In this rickety thing? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I told you! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't know who's more dangerous. Those clones are you! This isn't cutting it, bro. We need to go on the offensive. Perhaps this gadget could help us on our mission. Good idea, Jerry Tone. Oh dear, this is most unpleasant! They did a number on you guys. We need to buy some time and regroup. Quick! Okay, this calls for a new strategy. Maybe I'll be more like Lee and smash them with a boulder. <laughs> or maybe you'll be more like Tony and leave the rock right where it is. We've got to figure out a way to get the clones all together and trap them. Oh, this could work. But how do we lure them close? Maybe Tony can try to get them close by doing Jer 2.0's voice. It might be our only chance. Yes. <laughs> Where did that old goat go? What's over now, pal? Huh? It appears this old cowpoke still has a few tricks left in him. Hmm. Catch them! They're behind the barn! Huh? <laughs> Nicely done, Lee. Anyone care to rumba? Go 
I had forgotten how fun these missions are. I'm putting retirement on hold. Good old Southdale Junior High. It's nice to be back. It's nice to have our old Tony back, too. That's for sure. You don't have to act like other people to be accepted. Thanks, guys. It's hard work being someone else. Everyone else. Maybe I'll start my own club for people like me. Hey, what's this? The Imitators Club for people who like to act like others. Cool, I'm gonna join. No, Tony, no more. <laughs> <laughs> jokes. How about something more visual? Oh, ah, oopsie! My bad! Oh. Ah, ah. Oh. Get this guy off the stage! So not funny! Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Fine! Be that way! But Funny Bone will have the last laugh. <laughs> last one of their lockers a rotten egg. <laughs> Sorry, Lee. Huh? Beauty before brawn. Yeah! Huh. Right after brains! Huh. Uh. Ow! Watch where you're going, losers! I'm sorry, Tammy. I guess we didn't see you there. Huh. Then get some glasses, Clark Face! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got an award-winning routine to plan. Huh. Routine? What's she talking about? The 5th Annual Southdale Talent Show. You in? Well, I can try to spin a basketball on my finger while my eyes are closed. <laughs> and I can attempt to solve complicated math problems while standing on my head. <laughs> and I can blow the biggest bubblegum bubble known to man. <laughs> sort of. No worries. You've got plenty of time to practice. So, what's your talent, Megan? I... I, uh... I have no idea. Well, I'm sure you'll come up with something. After all, you are the most talented girl in school. Did you hear that? The cutest guy in school just called me talented. <laughs> and your point is? My point is that if I can win the talent show, I can totally win his heart. Oh my, Megan. Huh? You sound exactly like some other spy girls I know when you talk like that. Jerry? What are you doing here? Technically, I'm not here. My hologram is. The real me is waiting for you at Whoop. Ah! Ugh! This puts the ew in Whoop! You're right! This is definitely the ickiest whooping in history! <gasps> Good morning, spies. 
It was until you soaked us in dingy mop water. Sorry, I had no choice but to bring you in, as a world-famous comedic performer named Hannigan has been reported missing. Huh? <gasps> no way! Hannigan was my favorite when I was a kid. That exploding veggie thing he does is hilarious. Well, I'm glad you like him, because it's your mission to find out where he went. Then what are we waiting for? Very well. Today, we have the Whooper Nova, the Prison Bubble Blower, and a can of Spy Stretch Spray for a momentary Lena look. All winners, Jerry. Well, thank you. And now, it's off to the place where Hannigan was last seen. Monaco. Hello, we're mid-mission, Megan. This is no time for yoga. I'm not exercising, Tony. I'm practicing my talent for the talent show. Observe. Please tell me you aren't gonna do what I think you're gonna do. Sorry, Lee, but my talent can't be denied. <laughs> if your talent is looking ridiculous, then I'd say you've mastered it. Huh, guess I'm not as dexterous as I thought. Practice time's over, team. We just reached our destination. Sheesh, Jet, enough already. We heard you the first time. That second beep wasn't nagging. It was a warning that we're about to run out of fuel. This is crazy. I can't believe Jerry forgot to fill her up. Well, we better do something fast if we want to save the jet. If we can get this into the fuel tank, maybe we can generate enough power to land. Or we might blow a hole in the plane the size of a bus. The jet shell is made of a titanium alloy. It should be able to sustain the Whooper Nova's blast. Though I'm not too amped on the should thing, we have no choice. And that tube is our only hope. If you mean that tube on the outside of the plane, then we're so drawing straws. No need. I totally volunteer myself. You sure, T? It could be dangerous. Danger is my middle name. Huh? Uh, you can do it, bro. And the quicker the better. We've got 10 seconds to impact. Awesome. Now that's what I call star power. <laughs> yes. According to Whoop Records, this is the last place Hannigan was seen. Then we better split into two teams. If the perpetrator's still around, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Good idea. Let's go. Sheesh, sis, could you move any slower? Slow and steady wins the race. Now quit breathing down my neck. Hey, you hear that? Yeah. Sure, now you pick up the pace. <gasps> so much for Hannigan being missing. Unless that's some other veggie smashing comedian down there. <laughs> that's him, all right. And he's about to pulverize that pumpkin. <laughs> hmm. Maybe he forgot to wear his glasses. Glasses or no glasses, he's never missed his target before. Something freaky is definitely going on. You got that right. Look at the pic we took of his dressing room. It's completely thrashed, like there was some kind of a struggle. We'd better call Jer and give him the skinny. Speaking of the balding boss, what's up, Jer? Just calling to let you know that Jet's back in working order and to apologize for the mid-air drama. Oh, that drama is so 30 minutes ago. Right now, we're dealing with a missing Hannigan who isn't missing. Plus, he's acting way freaky, like he never swung a mallet before. Hmm, perhaps you should bring him in for a checkup. <gasps> Actually, I'll send another team for Hannigan. I need you to explore an abduction in progress. Who's in trouble this time? A clown named Bisbo, famous for his amazing balloon twisting abilities. From what I can gather, he's currently performing in your city. We'll get there on the double, Jer. If we're gonna stop this crime from happening, we need to block all the auditorium exits. You got it. No one's getting past the toaster. Looks like we've arrived at Abduction Central, spies. Autopilot engaged. 
Good. Now remember, stay in touch via iTech. Everyone in place? Check. Lee? Sure enough, bro. How about you, Megan? More focused than a laser beam. Come see the magical hands of Jimmy the Juggler. One show only. Juggling, eh? Maybe that could be my talent. Ooh! Uh, <laughs> no! Ow! Ow! Hey! Uh-oh! Guys! I think I just found our baddie! <laughs> Not so fast, clown napper! With Bizbo's balloon pump on my side, you don't stand a chance! <laughs> Oh, not my mission. <laughs> Way to work that gadget, Megan! Yeah, if only Mr. Bebo could see you now. <laughs> And I thought I had the biggest bubble in town. Ha ha ha, you're all hysterical. Now, would you mind getting me out of here? We better do it fast, dudes. Scanning this crime scene for 10 minutes and nada. No hairs, no fingerprints, no fibers. Check it out, guys. It's a piece of red rubber. I don't know if it's a clue, but it couldn't hurt to send it to Jerry. Good, because I'm majorly ready to head back to school. Can you say mad skills, people? Nope. But I can say the square root of 289 is 17. Please. Everyone knows if you want to win the talent show, it's go big or go home. <laughs> go Clarks! Eee, looks like Megan's on the same page as Tony. Yeah, only instead of going big, she's gone huge. <laughs> and with my new talent, being peppy and positive, I'm a shoo -in. Uh, no offense, but I'm not sure you're either of the two Ps. Trust me, when El Basketball Captain sees me, he'll be way impressed. Southdale, Southdale, that's our school. If you don't have spirit, then you're a fool! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's the second time today, you cheer-challenged Frico! Uh, sorry. Oh, maybe cheering <laughs> isn't my thing after all. Psst, spies! Up here in the tree. Whoa, that's what I call a talent, dude. It is amazing what you can do with a hologram these days. And now for the results of the analysis on the clue you sent me. So it was a clue after all. Indeed. And more specifically, it was a remnant of a clown nose. Did it belong to Bisbo? No. After doing a DNA cell match, I've determined it was last worn by a performer named Funnybone. Funnybone? Never heard of him. Then it's time for a quick history lesson. The Whoop database says Funny Bone is a not very well-liked comedian. In fact, he had tomatoes thrown at him at his last gig. Ouch, dude, that's harsh. Not as harsh as I'm gonna be if he turns out to be our baddie. Only one way to know for sure. Jer, can you help us out? Say no more. Thanks, boss. Oh, and watch out for holographic birds. Huh? Ooh. The nav system says we should be at Funny Bone's place any minute. Then the nav system needs a tune-up, because that mailbox is telling me we're here right now. Good eye, T. Okay, guys, time for a basement sneak-in. And...
And if we want to go through that tiny window, we're going to need to work the spy stretch spray. No way! This is the best gadget ever! I mean, forget being spies, we could all be supermodels! Uh. Uh. Oh well, easy come, easy go. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Funny Bone! Bingo, there's our guy! The greatest comedian on Earth! Who's up for a little eavesdrop? And now, for my first act, the amazing pumpkin smashing routine! Yeah! Hey, that's Hannigan shtick! My act is almost there, but it needs one more element! Like a cool balloon twisting bit. <laughs> Whoa! What's this wacky weirdo up to? <laughs> Don't mind me, Bispo. I'm just stealing your talent. <laughs> oh, look! I have fans already! We're not here to cheer you on. We're here to take you out. Yeah, before you move forward with your super evil plan. Uh, what exactly is it again? I'm getting ready to perform for all the people who rejected me. And by perform, I mean get my revenge. <laughs> Forget it, dude. The buck stops here. In that case, it's time to make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what is this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But it reminds me of that laughing gas at the dentist's office. Close? Only much more sinister. After I woo my audience with my new funniness, I'll use this to keep them laughing until they go mad. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, gang. I'm off to tickle some funny bones. <laughs> <laughs> we better do something fast, or we're gonna get seriously loopy! <laughs> hey, Lee! Is there any stretch spray left? <laughs> <laughs> Only a drop! <laughs> Which isn't enough for you to squeeze your way out of here! Oh, it's plenty for what I have in mind! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Clarks! Let, let's stop Funny Bone! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Funny Bone, the greatest comedian on Earth. Now brace yourselves for some big time balloon magic. <laughs> Like that, you're gonna love my next trick. <laughs> so where are we headed? <laughs> <laughs> Funny Bone said he was gonna start his revenge with the people who rejected him. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. We should go to the place where his last gig was. Great idea. <laughs> Only there's one problem. <laughs> I can't steer and bust a gun at the same time. <laughs> Greeting, spies. What's the update? <laughs> well, for starters, we've been sprayed with an evil laughing gas. <laughs> Which is making it kind of hard to stop Funny Bone. <laughs> oh, dear. That sounds very serious. Luckily, I have just the thing to help you out. <laughs> what is this stuff, Jer? It's whoop clarifying gas. Guaranteed to cleanse your systems from whatever's affecting you. What do you know? It worked like a charm. Indeed. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, boss. You can round up Bisbo. Because once we capture Funny Bone, you'll need to return him and Hannigan to normal by giving them their talents back. You got it! Get ready, comedy lovers. I'm going to make it rain indoors. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you like it. 
like it, folks, because you're gonna be laughing about it for a long time. Joke time's over. Whoa! You? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? We're here to stop you and your stolen routine. And this time, my bubble blower means business. <laughs> Nice shot, sis. She's not the only one with great aim. <gasps> Get ready to be pulverized! <laughs> Dream on! There's no way we're letting you use Hannigan's mallet for evil. <laughs> How about Bizpo's balloon pump, then? I just had it refilled with an extra heavy gas! <laughs> now that's what I call humor! Too bad we're gonna have the last laugh. Hey! We'll see who's laughing after my final joke! <laughs> Ah, uh, that would be you, funny bone. <laughs> so, with funny bone laughing it up in the whoop holding facility, I'd say we did okay. Okay, dude, we rocked it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of rocking it, say hello to the future winner of the Southdale Talent Show. So, what did your talent turn out to be? Enviro-friendly sculpture. I made this out of recycled balloons from Funny Bone's performance. Wow, that's impressive. Not as impressive as my new boyfriend's gonna be. Because when I win first place, the basketball captain's so gonna want to date me. Hey, guys. <sighs> What's up? And by guys, he means losers! You're dating Tammy? But you told me I was the most talented girl in school. You are, but talented <laughs> girls totally intimidate me. You should see Tammy's one-legged tap dancing routine. It's awful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Team, keep a close watch for loggers. We're gonna save this forest or my name is in Bark Ferndale. If you're a logger, you can forget about cutting down any of these trees, cause I'm not budging. So power, I'm rocking out in the shower. Scrub a dub dub. I got... huh? Hey, what gives? Who cut the H2O? <gasps> Yummers, brownies. Mom won't mind if I have just a little taste. Hmm? Mm. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Tony, what did you do with my logarithmic calculator? Okay, who's the joker who turned off the water? 
I can't live without that calculator! Look at my son's fro! Hey boys, what's all the stress about? Like my new outfit? It's made from 100% recycled brass clippings. <laughs> How do you know whether to wash it or mow it? <laughs> anyway, my environmental club is celebrating Erase Your Carbon Footprint Week. So, I've made a few changes around here. You're the one responsible for turning the water off on me? Yuppers! And I made these ovenless macrobiotic brownies, as well as recycled that energy-wasting calculator of yours, Mark. Huh? Great! What now, Megan? Is it Erase Electricity Week, too? No, but living in darkness is a great idea! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, did I interrupt a costume party? Huh. No, this is Megan's idea of not having a footprint or something. She even stuck me with an abacus. I see, even though I really don't. Hmm, 90% polyester, not a natural fiber. Oh, hey, that's from my mom. Um, thank you, Megan. <laughs> Rad tie, Jer. Don't forget to water it tonight. On to business. Spies, there's been a rash of strange afflictions to seemingly random people, and I want you to investigate. There's nothing random about Bark Ferndale and Downey Mallard. They're my heroes. Who's Fernie Downdale? Hmm. Bark's a tree lover, and Downey is a waterfowl conservationist. <gasps> so the environment is the connection. Splendid. Then divide into two teams and visit each. Gadget-wise, you'll be using sand surfers. Sweet ride. Bonding alloy putty. I think that's what the brownie I ate was made of. <laughs> Pacifier, liquefier, and the electric grid net deflector. I hope that last one is solar powered, Jer. Why exactly are we in these weird outfits again? According to this, Bark is a very suspicious guy. So it's best we're disguised as butterfly enthusiasts. Hey, look! It's an azure swallowtail. <laughs> I can't believe you're actually into such a lame hobby. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what do you think you're doing here? <laughs> Downey Mallard's Houseboat and Bird Sanctuary. Let's see what's happening in Birdland. <laughs> I guess nothing too bad happened to her if she's out and about. <gasps> what do you think you're doing on my houseboat? Downey, what happened to you? What is this stuff? How did this happen? You two aren't from the logging company, are you? No, no, definitely not. We're, uh, butterfly watchers. See? <laughs> hmm. I was defending a tree, and before I knew it, I heard a horn. Then I was abducted. I remember a dark room and loud noises. I woke up like this. Strange. I've never seen anything like this before. Guys, you're not going to believe what we found on our mission. Oh, that's just one of our butterfly-watching friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by mission, she meant mission to observe rare butterflies. <sighs> you two are loggers. You've come here to finish me off. I'll show you! Oh, this guy means business, or at least he's trying to. Gone. Close call. 
Whew! That was closer! Still have that pine cone? There's some residue on here. Let's get back to Whoop and take a closer look. And maybe it'll explain why this tree guy is such a loon. Who are you two? Are you after my birds? I'm your biggest fan, and I'm also an investigator assigned to your case. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I, I don't know what happened. I, I remember a horn, and then everything went dark. And I awoke like this. <gasps> I see. You know, I was so inspired by your activism, I've taken steps to curb my family's wastefulness. Smart girl. You know, when I was your age... <gasps> Danny, what's wrong? The horn! It's them! They returned for me! But it's just another bug! some sort of man-made compound. It must have rubbed off from Bark's hand when he was trying to rub us out. The substance is made of liquid detergent and a wax polymer? So someone took Bark and cleaned and waxed him? Almost sounds delightful, if not perplexing. <clears throat> Hello, spies. How did your mission go? Super freaky, Jer. Someone abducted Downy and then returned her covered in some weird substance. We got a sample on this piece of rope she touched. This looks the same as the stuff on the pine cone. That's because it's exactly the same. Oh, fuss. I'd better have agents pick both victims up so we can get them back to normal. Did Downey mention anything about her abduction? Only that she remembered hearing a loud horn right before she was taken. <gasps> there are too many connections for this all to be a coincidence. I suggest that your next move is to stake out the next potential victim. Now, if I can just figure out who the third biggest eco-activist in the world is... That's easy. It's Solar Power King, Sunny, Race, and Cherry. His workshop's in the desert. Then we'd better get slathered with sunblock and go keep an eye on him. Couldn't have said it better myself. Still no sign of Sonny. Are you sure he even hangs out here? He most definitely does. This is where he tests out all of his experimental solar-powered vehicles. Hello? Megan, did you turn my backyard flower box into a stinky pile of trash? Uh, actually, that's our family's new compost pit. It's a good thing, Mom. Well, I think it's an eyesore. I want you to come home and clean it up this instant. I promise, Mom. We can discuss it as soon as I'm back from school. Megan, I'm serious. Okay, miss you. Bye. <laughs> I take it that's our man, Sonny. That's him, all right. One of the hottest activists around. Well, it doesn't look like anyone's bothering him out here. This mission is a bust, if you ask me. <gasps> hey, I bet that's the same horn the last victims told us about. Don't tell me that's one of Sonny's vehicles, too. No way. Look at the pollution it's chugging out. Did someone call for a tow truck? <laughs> Something tells me Sonny didn't call for this truck. Get your sand surfers in gear. with the aggressive move, pal! Nice little scooters, but I don't think you're a match for my truck! This guy is on a serious mission of destruction! Look out! Find somewhere else to play, kiddies! 
Lovely boys are playing here. Oh, Jerry's not going to be happy about this. I hope it comes with a warranty. Way, let me loose. You're messing with my aerodynamics. Oh, Sonny, we've got to save him. That's one no-nonsense truck. I'm not even sure how to attack it. Oh, man, that was my favorite freeze disc. <sighs> Done, little guy. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, watch it with those cables. This is a real drag, isn't it? Hang on, bro. I got you covered. If this truck doesn't get me first, hold steady. No, not my baby, not my baby. Reagan! I don't get it. Why is this guy even doing what he's doing? Unfortunately, this is all we have to go on to find our sister. Let's get back to Whoop before the trail goes cold. Huh? Did you know I'm one of your biggest fans? Your idea to use the sunlight to power windmills is brilliant! We're trapped! Shouldn't we be more concerned with who's gonna save us? Huh? Don't worry, I'm a secret agent. I'll protect you. And who's gonna protect you, Cupcake? up every last one of you eco-activists! I can't find a single match for these tires in the database. Well, that's odd. Let me help. There we go. Just needed the old whoop touch. Luckily, these tires are rare in a custom job. They'll be easy to track. Already on it. They were supplied to one Sudsy Malone, owner of Sudstastic Car Wash. Turns out eco-activists want Sudsy to shut down his chain of car washes because he wastes water and uses toxic cleaners. Well, that would give him a reason to hate these people. They've succeeded in shutting them all down except one. We better get over to that car wash ASAP. I'd hate to see Megan get the same treatment as the others. To the whoop van you go. Ta-ta! <laughs> No sign of Megan or Sonny. Looks like your average car wash to me. Looks can be deceiving. Seems pretty quiet. Maybe this business is legit and nothing bad's going on here. Ah! More of you eco-activists! I'll take care of you just like the others! <laughs> This isn't just some ordinary car wash. You got that right, Eco Boy. You're gonna get the experience of a lifetime. I'm not sure who you think we are, but we're not eco activists. Trust us, having to deal with our sister's crazy ideas about our carbon footprint is bad enough. I don't buy it. Everyone's jealous of my car wash. But my ultra shine finish will live forever when I drop it across the globe from cargo jets. <laughs> At first I thought this guy was just crazy, but now I realize he's dangerous too. <laughs> 
Megan, are you okay? No, I'm covered in nasty Mother Earth hating chemicals. <laughs> now the three of you get the sensing treatment. And I'm off to plan my global domination! <laughs> well, look on the bright side. Once we have this finished, we don't have to take any more showers! You're not exactly breaking records for shower taking as it is. Guys, I've got my hands on the pacifier liquefier gadget. Let's see if it works. Oh, oh. Awesome gadget! Thanks, Mark. Mm. Oh. Hey! My foot! Help! Tony! Now I'm gonna get that sudsy jerk for doing this to me. It might take me a while, but I'm determined. This feels like when Aunt Trudy does our laundry and starches everything, including our underwear. Don't worry, bro. We'll find a cure for this right after we capture Sudsy. <gasps> Can I get a little help over here? So long, losers! Not so fast, Slick. You little rat! I'll show you! <laughs> that ought to clean you up! <laughs> Oh, great. Now I look like I'm wearing plastic clothes, too. <laughs> Come on, Lee! You're the only one left to get this guy! Don't worry. I'm all over him. Correction! I'm all over you! <laughs> Whoa! I've already been sexy once today! I'm gonna clean you up good and give you a waxy finish! I wish we could help Lee, but we're useless in this state. Not totally. Lee, take this ultra bonding alloy, buddy. It's our last hope. Oh. Hey, kid. What are you doing to my equipment, Blue? Shutting it and you down. Whoa, boy. Pants gonna blow. Looks like Sudstastic won't live forever after all. And the world's a better place because of it. Sudsy, where do you think you're going? Away from you! I'm gonna rebuild my empire! You'll see! Spies, are you okay? Do we look okay, Jerry? We can barely move. Nothing my recently developed antidote won't cure. <sighs> That's a relief. I don't think I can spend another minute in this shell. Wow, look at the shine on the Whoop van. Most impressive. You like the wash? I'll do your entire fleet at a big discount. The price will be free because washing cars will be your new job in the Whoop prison. <laughs> <laughs> Yum! Now that's the way a brownie is supposed to taste. And this is how giant math equations are supposed to be solved. And it's great to finally have enough water to take a proper shower after a muddy football game. Excuse me, but has anyone seen my hair dryer? Hair dryer? Uh, it doesn't ring a bell. My pink hair dryer, the one I've had for five years. <laughs> oh, uh, that old smog choker? Yeah, we recycled it because it uses too much electricity. What? Oh, and your electric pencil sharpener had to go. Too much pollution. And that old MP3 player. Batteries weren't rechargeable. Sorry, Megan. Just trying to lighten your carbon footprint, sis. My carbon footprint? Oh, you give those things back right now. <laughs> Take it easy, Megan. We're just kidding. Yeah, it's all in our closet. See for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
today's the day I'm finally getting out of the joint. <gasps> Whoopi Graham for inmate number 2398C. We regret to inform you that your parole has been denied. Due to your recent fighting with other inmates, you're to be transferred to a more secure wing of the prison. Ah, denied? Oh. No one denies Sherry. I'll get my revenge if it's the last thing I ever do. <sighs> I'm hot, thirsty, and my hair is way dry. I hate desert missions. Oh, me too. Let's call the boss and tell him Operation Mini Satellite Rescue's a bust. Sorry, guys. We've got to keep looking. The satellite contains all kinds of important info. If it means finding action, I'm all for forging ahead. Tony! Tony! Look on the bright side! I found what we were searching for! We just changed these boots! Come on, team! Don't worry, T. We'll have you back on solid ground in no time. <laughs> Quick, fire up your boots! <laughs> no good! The satellite's too heavy! Then we're gonna have to cut it and Junior Spy loose! <laughs> hey, what happened to trying to save me? We're all over it, dude! Home sweet home. I can't wait for some downtime. I'm right there with you. Goodbye, spy mode. Hello, couch potato mode. Huh? Hola, losers. Hmm? Tammy, what are you doing here? Unfortunately, my parentals had to jet out of town for a biz trip, so they made an arrangement with your parentals for me to stay here. Well, they're going to have to unarrange it. Our house is crowded enough. Uh, trust me, it's not my idea of a party either. But what else? I've already settled into Megan's room. You did what? Ah, oh, see? I've got the bed and you get the floor. It's only fair. Fair? As if? There's no way I'm giving up my bed for you. You will if you don't want me to rat you out to your parents for being a way rude hostess. Now, why don't the rest of you go fetch me some extra pillows for my mid-morning beauty nap? Uh-oh, duty calls. Duty? What kind of duty? And what's that annoying beeping sound? <laughs> it's uh, an alarm. Uh, an alarm reminding us to walk our dog. Later. Hey, Jer, what's the haps? I'm afraid I need to see you ASAP, spies. Now, but we just got back from a mission. We're wiped. Sorry, but it's of the utmost importance. <gasps> What's our assignment this time, Jer? In a nutshell, I'm putting you in charge of the agency for the day. No way! Are you serious? Quite. I have a spy conference to attend, and Sam, Clover, and Alex, who normally fill in for me, are busy fighting an evil shoe designer. Don't sweat it, Big J. You can so count on us. Glad to hear it. Now remember, I'm only a wallet phone away. Call me if there's any trouble whatsoever. You got it! Taxi! On second thought, I'll take my own transportation. Good thing I'm wearing my turbo wingtips from the experimental lab.
Ooh. I can't believe Jerry actually left us in charge. Only, what are we going to do about Tammy? Ah, <sighs> who cares? I've been waiting for this moment for 12 years. Uh, now, Lee, let's get you started with some gadget inventory. Megan, update the filing system. And Tony, why don't you wash Jerry's jet? Excuse me? But who put you in the driver's seat? Yeah, Tammy Jr., quit being so bossy. I'm not being bossy. I'm taking control. As the smartest member of the team, it's only natural. Nice try, bro. But Jerry gave all of us his assignment. We're gonna run Whoop together. Huh? huh? And our first job is to answer the phone. Hmm. I'm guessing it's this button. Jerry's Ascot collection? Guess again. Ah! No go, bro! Ah! How are we supposed to run Woo if we're blown to smithereens? Ah! Hello? Jerry's office? This is spy in charge Megan speaking. Yeah, this is Agent Hardcastle. Just checking in to see if any prisoners are scheduled to be free today. Uh, let's see. Looks like jailbird number 2398C is due to fly the coop. Oh, interesting. Well, I guess I can't argue with the person in charge. Oh, oh my. I took quite a spill back there. You certainly did, Mr. Um... Lewis, uh, but you can call me Jerry. I'm 62 years old and reside at 555 Pleasant Avenue. Excellent. And what do you do for a living, Jerry? I'm... I'm... Oh, my. I'm afraid I don't recall. Well, do you have a business card in your pocket? Uh, perhaps it'll jar your memory. Aha! Here it is. Jerry Lewis, a hotel manager. Well, yes, that's right. I am a hotel manager. I remember it clearly. Very good. Well, it sounds like you're ready to be discharged. I'm going to phone your nearest relative to come pick you up. <laughs> You'll be sorry you kept me here, Jerry. Because now I'm going to take you and your agency down. Huh? Today must be your lucky day, inmate number 2398C. <laughs> What's so lucky about being denied parole? Jerry must have changed his mind. The higher up say you're free to go. Five fingers? Is this a pen? Or a boomerang? Oh, or a phone? Who knew Jerry was so into fake noses? Uh, Tony, this isn't the info you read to the agent at the holding facility, is it? That's it, all right. See, bro, you're not the only one who can play Jerry. I hate to burst your bubble, but the inmate you told the guard to release was one on the list of inmates to be transferred. Transferred where, exactly? to a more secure wing of the prison. It was inmate number 1169A who should have gotten out. Tony! Oh no, I better call Jerry right away. I don't think so, dude. We're in charge. We need to handle this on our own. Besides, after seeing how hard it was to answer a call, I don't think we should try and make one. You're right. While Tony and I stay here, you two should head to the holding facility and fast. Fine, but we're gonna need some gear. Today we've got the inflatable rubber ducky. And for a little flair, the big boron boxing glove. Sweet! Coolio! And as Jerry would say, goodbye and good luck! Sorry, T, but thanks to your little prisoner mix-up, you're banned from playing Jerry. Wow! Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Bates at City Hospital. I'm afraid your brother Jerry's taken a little tumble. A tumble? Is he okay? Oh, he's fine, fine. Just a bump on the head. In fact, he should be back to his job as a hotel manager in no time. Uh, would you mind picking him up? 
I'll be right there. dog right away and start paying attention to me, you're gonna seriously regret it. Tammy, we totally forgot about you. Oh, I, I mean, uh, we'll be home any sec. Uh, but just uh, hang out and, and wait for us. Ugh. Fine, but make it snappy. My patience is wearing thinner than those cheap sheets on your bed. Hmm, guess I'll just wait up there. Then I'll have a better view of those losers when they get back. Here it is, Jerry, your lovely abode. It is lovely. Now, who did you say you were again? I'm Sherry, your sister. Now, why don't you have a seat while I bring you some tea and crumpets? Oh, thank you, Sherry. You're terribly sweet. I'll have to comp you at my hotel to pay you back for your kindness. Oh, about the hotel, Jerry, there's something we need to discuss. Oh, uh, is something amiss? Are there not enough clean towels? Everything's fine, but being a hotel manager is only your cover. We're really a secret spy team, working together for global good. Oh, my. I don't remember that at all. Mmm. But clearly, you're telling the truth. Yes! And our first order of spy business is to spring the third member of our team, our brother Terence, from prison. Prison? Dear me, why has he been imprisoned? Because an evil counter-spy organisation has wrongly incarcerated him. In that case, we'd better get our old bones moving. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cell. We're too late. Uh, Lee, that's the least of our worries. Inmate number 2398C was Jerry's sister, <gasps> Sherry. <gasps> Time to put in a call to HQ. Hello? Hey, guys, how's the mission going? Rotten. Not only is the inmate already gone, but it turns out she's Sherry, Jerry's sister. D! <gasps> okay, running loop just went from bad to worse. Uh oh, we've got a red alert. A craft just appeared in the airspace above the maximum security facility in Antarctica. What kind of craft? A whoop craft, and there isn't one scheduled to be there. That doesn't sound good, guys. We'd better get in touch with the boss ASAP. You've reached Cherry at Whoop. I'm either away from my desk saving the world or on another wallet phone call. Please leave a message. Guess he's too busy at the spy conference to pick up. Sounds like there's only one thing left to do, dudes. Get ready for a trip to the tundra. I know Antarctica isn't close, but how long is this trip gonna take? Something tells me we've just arrived. Now that's what I call a scary building. You sure we can't just check it out from up here? No deal. We're going in. Oh, oh whoa! What's that racket? There's a break-in in progress. A break-in? Who the heck breaks into a prison? Only one way to find out. Is it me, or are our boots missing their usual oomph? You're right! I feel like I'm in molasses mode! Because of the extremely low air temperature, our boots' reactors are operating at minimum capacity! And in non-geek, that means... We're in serious trouble! <laughs> what do we do now? The only thing we can do, bring out the duck! <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Note to self, never voluntarily climb a ladder in designer's shoes again. This 
place. Are you here? You jerks better not be playing a joke on me! Oh, how cute! A little robot thingy. Rubber ducky doesn't come with a braking mechanism. Then we'd better brace for impact, spies. Uh, that's one way to make an entrance. Oh no! So much for being able to go in the easy way. Who needs the easy way when you've got the gadget way? Now that's what I call spy power. Hello, Terence. Long time no see. Sherry, are you really here? Or have I been in jail so long I'm seeing things? Oh, it's me, all right. And look who I brought with me. Surprise, it's me, Jerry. Now allow me to free you from this dreadful place. Yeah! Oh, why, thank you, brother. My pleasure. Group hug! And now that we're one big happy family, we'll be completely unstoppable. <laughs> So, how are we going to find whoever broke in? By accessing the Whoop Central computer. It'll tell us where there's a security breach. Good thinking, Brainy Bro. Bingo! There's an open cell up ahead. Then it's officially spy time. Let's hope our boots are out of popsicle mode. Yes! We are thawed and ready for action! Whoa! I can't wait to get back home and return to work. The work of spreading global good, that is. Hmm? <laughs> global good, right. I am completely on board. Me too. Being a secret spy team sounds like great fun. Jerry? I'm sorry. Do I know you? Do you know us? More like, do we know you? Or do you usually hang out with villains when you're supposed to be at spy conferences? Villains? What villains? You know, Sherry and Terry, your way sinister sibs who tried to destroy you and your spy agency? You feeling okay, Jer? Yeah. What's with the weird behavior, Jay, dude? Don't listen to a word they say, Jerry. These are evil counter spies trying to confuse you. That's right. And it's our job to take them out. Huh? <laughs> but it's going to take more than some weak karate moves to take us out. How about a few gadgets, then? What you got, brother? Hmm. Would this thing do the job? Thank you, Jerry Berry. <laughs> stings! What else you got in your bag of tricks? Some kind of mysterious black goo. <laughs> yeah. uh, the instant oil slick! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it may not be fair, but it's definitely funny. Funny? We'll see who gets the last laugh. <gasps> Cheerio, counter spies. No! Oh, great! Well, what are we gonna do now? Isn't it obvious? We gotta do something fast! <laughs> but but what? But we're all out of gadgets! Actually, I've still got one left! Banana, show us what you can do! Fruitabulous! <gasps> it looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Talk about embarrassing! We just got outfought by a bunch of geezers! <laughs> And that's the least of our worries. Sherry and Terrence have poor Jerry brainwashed. Which is why we've got to get out of here and save him. Yeah, right after we save ourselves.
So, it all started when Jerry asked us to run Whoop while he went to a spy conference. And we were happy to do it since Tammy was staying at our house. Anyway, it was going great until Tony let Jerry's sister Sherry out of prison. Give me a break, it was an accident. Speaking of accidents, Jerry bumped his head and forgot who he was, though we weren't around to see it. Which is why Sherry was able to convince him to help her bust their brother Terrence out of jail. And even though we tried to stop them, they captured us, and now we're in a world of trouble. We're stuck on a giant ice cube. This is the worst situation we've ever been in. <sighs> Lee, please tell me that was your stomach growling. Wish I could, but even my hunger isn't that big, dude. <laughs> ah, polar bear! We probably look like dinner to this thing. We can't even fight back. Maybe if we just try really hard not to taste good. <laughs> Ropes are frozen solid. I have an idea. Nice job, Megan. You can buy me a smoothie later. Oh no, that didn't sound good. Actually, that sounded great. Quick, jump on the crack. This is a really bad idea. And ending up in the bear's belly is a good one? Huh? <laughs> Voyage, bear! Have a nice cruise! Yeah! Awesome job, gang! This ice drift is too small for us. We're sinking fast. The inflotable rubber ducky, actually. But it's just out of our reach. We need to get to it. It's our only chance. Oh, no. Seems like our jet boot's power is completely down. The cold must be affecting the oxygen propulsion system. We need to find a solution. And fast. I've got an idea. Maybe we can heat our boots with the laser function of our eye techs. Good call, big bro. It just might work. <laughs> Way to go! All right. Awesome! Let's get back onto dry land before that polar bear learns the backstroke. be Jerry and his sips work. I, for one, don't want to be around a gang of angry jailbirds, most of whom we put into jail. Then let's fly out of here. Three, <gasps> the trio of terror left our ride in shambles. I don't know if I can fix it. Ah! Ah! Mm, we need something to help hold back those prisoners. Oh yeah! Uh, what's the repelling Magno Magpie? Our only hope! <laughs> Come on, Tone! I can't hold him back forever! Okay, Birdie, show us what you got! saved us big time. Well, let's not push our luck, though. We need to get out of here. I rerouted the power lines to the engines. Let's see if it worked. If it didn't, we all better start flapping our wings. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Ooh, close one. Come on, let's go. Oh. The 
This is all yours, Jerry. What do you think? Very impressive indeed. You built it from the ground up. Every gadget and every vehicle is your creation. Why would I do such a thing? To battle the forces of evil, like those kids we just took care of. Hmm, I see. I think I'm starting to remember. This is the weirdest place ever! Now that I ditched that robot, how do I get out of here? Her! I know her! You must be... Huh? My daughter! Huh? Oh, <laughs> I missed you, whatever your name is, but I'm back, and I'm okay. Ew, who are you, old dude? And what's with the chick flick moment? <gasps> Actually, Jerry, you don't have a daughter. I don't? Well, then who is she? Watch it, pal! You're gonna mess up my flawless skin. Looks like she's just some girl who goes to school with those kids. Excuse me, but I'm not just some girl. I'm the most popular person at Southdale. Now show me the way out of here right now. Hmm. Huh? Hey! Let me out of here! <laughs> Why did you do that? She clearly breached our security. Your rules, Jerry. Now, on to more pressing issues. Or such as? Where to take Whoop from here? have finally thought out. What is it, Megan? There's no sign of Tammy. She usually makes her presence very known. Isn't that a good thing? Maybe she went to stay somewhere else. We should be worried about getting back to Whoop. The agency's still our responsibility. Right, and from there we can find Jerry. Let's get cleaned up and hit the road. This is something I came up with in my spare time. Do you think you can make it? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Apparently, my gadget creating skills weren't diminished by the accident. Let us in. Okay, so maybe a more low tech approach is in order. <laughs> it's locked tighter than Megan's diary. We're no better off up here. Sure, we are. Sneaking around like scared mice, after all we did for this organization. There it is. So what exactly do you plan on doing with this? Members of the spy conference you were to infiltrate aren't on the side of Whoop. This device and its brain-altering capability should bring them around, though. Then everyone will be Whoop's ally. Well, you haven't steered me wrong yet, I suppose. Shall we head to the launch pad and board the jet? Ooh. Close one! Jerry's office is just around the corner! Come on! little brats at the end of the earth. How'd they get back here? They certainly are resilient, aren't they? I wonder who trained them. <gasps> I know 
they had something to do with this. I wonder what that cool-looking gadget is that Jerry's holding. I'd rather he not give us a demonstration. Those are the ones that locked me up! You three are in so much trouble, I'm gonna have my father uh -huh. sue you! Quick, Jerry, hit them with a brain modifier! Oh no, we definitely don't want a demo! Where do you think you're going? I'm not letting you guys out of my sight again! Whoa, Jerry's totally vicious! I want the old boring Jerry back! Oh dear, I hit my daughter! My bad, sweetie! We told you she's not your daughter, Jerry! Yeah, oh, right. Guess I forgot. Now I've got you! <laughs> Getting rid of bad guys who want to pummel the world! Ah, Tammy, what are you doing? They must have hit her with that device! Now we know what it does. Makes people hate us. <gasps> Come on, guys, get her off me! Let's send her back to her friends. With pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was way closer to Tammy than I ever want to be. That'll only hold them for a second. Let's hit it. Attention all agents! Be on alert for four kids who have infiltrated our facility! Great! We're as good as caught! I've got an idea, though it's not going to be very pleasant. The trash disposal system! No one will look for us in there! Gee, I wonder why. I don't suppose there's any other less repulsive options? Just wait till I find them. Look in there! Sorry, sis! Where'd they go? There's no way out of here. Well, exactly why we shouldn't be concerned. Our agents will round them up sooner or later. Let's get to that conference. <laughs> this is so nasty. Let them catch us and take over the world. Just get me out of here. There's no point in climbing back up the chute. The agents will just be waiting for us. Hey, there's old trashed gadgets in here. Ha! <laughs> Why would they throw out old gadgets without disabling them first? It seems dangerous. Guys, here's our taxi out of here. We've been frozen, almost mauled, and trashed. And we're no closer to getting Jerry back to normal. We're at rock bottom. Only one way to go from here. But we don't even know where Jerry is right now. The last time we saw Jerry normal, he was going to the spy conference. Maybe his sibs are gaining access to do something bad. Something bad with that brain-modifying device? We'd better get our bus to that conference. They're my advisors. I need them with me in order to attend. Okay, now we need to formulate a plan of attack. Hmm, all right. But the spies here seem pretty peaceful for the most part. Don't let these rogue spies fool you, Jerry. It's their front for evil. I see. Hmm. Security is bound to be tight. We're going to need a plan to get inside. How about these lovely flowers? Now's not the time to be picking flowers, nature girl. That's not what I'm talking about. Hello, delivery for the conference. I don't think they're going for it. Don't get flower power, bro. I can't believe I've been left behind again. 
gotta get to that conference and take out those spy creeps. <gasps> Ooh! Look at these sweet backpacks. Wonder what they do. She and us like a butte, yeah? Our army has grown by the second! Brilliant! <laughs> In a few minutes, we'll have complete run of the world with no one to stop us. What does that mean? <laughs> that is to say, run of the world in the name of good. Drop the gadget, dude. Your little game is over. Huh? You four again? What does it take to rub you out? Indeed, their resilience never ceases to amaze me. I'm not dropping nothing, pal. Then I'll have to drop you with this remote control bashing ball. <laughs> Ooh. Huh? Rudd, no wonder that thing was in the trash. <laughs> Oh, let go! Watch it! Off me! Hmm. If this thing falls, we're permanently pressed! I'd say we got about half a minute before that happens. This time there's no escape. We've seen to that. I've still got another gadget. The Helping Hand Stretchy Band. Keep it handy, because I think we're going to need it. under that metal ball. I want some solid ground under my feet. Truly amazing. They've managed to escape again. Jerry, snap out of it. You're better than these bozos. Don't you remember us? <laughs> Family is what's most important to Jerry. You stick by us. Time for our last found gadget to take flight. The expanding flypaper airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Nice piloting tone. Time to get Jerry back on our side. <laughs> Thanks for leaving me back there. Guess I'll have to clean this mess up myself. Jerry created a monster. Are you guys familiar with the Glacier Doomerang? Oh, I've heard about this one. I've always wanted to try it. <laughs> You're quite the game adversaries, but the time has come to join the forces of good. Jerry, don't you understand? We're the good guys. You've been tricked by your brother and sister. Hmm. Don't listen to them. Hit them with the multiplier, Jerry. <laughs> Oh no! The bump on his head made him regain his memory! And I'm not amused. Jerry, you're back! <laughs> it's good to see our old Jerry. I'd rather you run to me than away from me, agents. Jerry, we have to use the gadget in reverse mode to turn the spies back to normal. Absolutely. Sherry and Terrence are free! Come on, give me a hand! Attention, Wu Patents. I've got a pickup for you. Hand me the brain modifier, Jerry. I'll try and reverse its polarity. Excellent. The conference can continue as scheduled in a peaceful manner. Stick around, guys. You might learn something. There, that 
should do it. Hey, Shorty, why don't you mule this outside for me? Well, it was a lot of fun, Tammy. So glad you came. Was it? I don't really even remember staying here. Trust us, you had a great time. Hello, Mummy? What's that? You're gonna be away for the rest of the week? Of course I can stay here. <gasps> awesome! Let the good times continue to roll, cause I'm sticking around. This bed's worked for me so far. Think I'll stick with it. <laughs>